What's going on here folks, it's David Schlothauer here. In today's video, we are keeping an eye on for next week as there could be quite a bit of active weather for the Midwest and for the Deep South with more freezing rain and snow along to go with heavy rainfall. Also, if you're new to the YouTube channel and you really like these videos, please consider subscribing, hitting the thumbs up button, and sharing this video with their family and friends, and also ring the bell notification icon so you don't miss out on any videos that I do post. So taking a look at the latest Euro model for 12Z, January 27th, 2023, and this is for this afternoon, so for Friday evening, right around 6 to 7 p.m. Central Standard Time and Eastern Standard Time, and we can see there is that winter storm that we were talking about in yesterday's video, now moving across the upper Great Lakes, and also from Michigan into northern Indiana, only bringing, again, maybe about an inch, maybe a couple of inches of snow at the very most. This is not a blockbuster winter storm by any means, but there's another winter storm that is already in the making into the Pacific North west and the northern Rockies that will soon impact the weather down here for the deep south by the latter part of the weekend into the middle of next week and I mean it could be a pretty impactful system. So let's go forward here into Saturday afternoon uh, throughout the day and if you are in the southeast looks pretty nice. Anything should be done outdoors today and tomorrow since the conditions look to be very dry. If you're doing any driving, do that tomorrow as conditions look to be very nice. But also for the northern tier of the United States, it's gonna be a whole different story. We're looking at some light snowfall flurries expected for the upper Great Lakes, also for the upper Midwest into the Northern Plains, into the Rockies and the Pacific Northwest. A moisture starved system, not a whole ton of moisture with this one. And that's why it's gonna just kind of get stretched apart. It's gonna fall apart. Some of the energy is going to be kind of with this other impulse of moisture for the southeast by Sunday. This is January the 29th, 2023, and there it is. Quite a bit of rainfall that is anticipated over Mississippi, Alabama, Georgia, northern Florida, and then if you want to get some snowfall, you have to go up into northern Vermont, New northern New Hampshire, and Maine to get some light to moderate snowfall accumulations. But here comes that next system here, really slow. It's just taking its own sweet time moving across California, maybe some Sierra snow, Nevada, as well as Utah, Colorado, and southern Wyoming, getting a little bit of snow out of that. Let's go into Tuesday morning. This is when the next system gets going here. We got a little bit of freezing rain, more some freezing drizzle, we should say, for northern um, Texas, as well as central and southern Oklahoma, northern Arkansas. Now, as you do know, freezing rain is almost impossible to forecast, and we could only rely on the latest recent runs of the European model. So we can see the 12th. Z run showing some pink on the screen. If we look at the zero Z run from yesterday, still the same thing, more some freezing drizzle. And when we take a look at yesterday morning's run, the 12 Z of January 26, we can see um, still some freezing rain is expected. So when we look at the last three complete runs, we can see a little bit of a trend here slightly northward, but also maybe a little bit of lighter freezing rain, but it won't matter. It's gonna be somewhat of an impactful system and then it gets more impactful once we go into Wednesday as you can see here more rain more freezing rain for the northern tier of Arkansas for the south just some showers and thunderstorms and this continues all the way to two, uh, Wednesday Thursday and Friday but there's a lot of variability as far as the models go uh, we got to be careful when we track these systems because you can see the zero z run yesterday probably shown quite a bit of snowfall for Virginia and West Virginia. Uh, 12Z run from yesterday, it's like, whoa, where is it? Where is it, David? Um, there has been some trends to the north now. So it looks like now looks to be rain for Virginia, West Virginia, and Kentucky versus where it was yesterday gonna be some snow. So there's been a trend northward with this system. 
but otherwise quite a bit of rainfall is anticipated with that and then by uh, friday january the third or uh, that would be february the third i should say not january the third what was i talking about um already in february on this model and looks like conditions look to dry out for a while including for the pacific northwest seeing some weaker systems moving on through through the next 10 days now as far as your snowfall forecast goes again in the next five days this is not the complete 10 day forecast of snowfall so for the mountains anywhere between one to maybe two feet of snowfall with isolated amounts up to three feet so again the highest peaks the ski resorts gonna get the most snow out of uh, this upcoming snowstorm that's moving through for the valleys maybe two to five inches of snowfall now there's a narrow corridor here in portions of nebraska south dakota and uh, southern wisconsin northern illinois southern minnesota michigan that could get as much as maybe six to ten inches of snow including for the northeast that may also see six to ten inches so nothing out of the ordinary nothing too extreme as far as snowfall goes but nevertheless it is winter and you're gonna get some snowfall out of this for the sierra mountains of california another additional four to six inches of snowfall is anticipated now i rarely cover this in my videos is how much freezing rain could you be talking about right now the european model has trended lower on this but still anywhere between maybe a tenth of an inch to maybe a quarter of an inch of freezing rain that will be enough to bring down tree branches maybe some isolated power outages maybe up to a quarter of an inch there for northern arkansas but again this is going to change with time freezing rain is extremely extremely hard to forecast and you cannot always predict freezing rain until you're like 18 hours out or so when we look at previous runs you can see each run it is just changing all over the place so we don't know exactly all we know is there is a slim chance for freezing rain by the early to the middle of next week rainfall totals anywhere between two to five inches across the deep south the southeast and even for portions of the midwest like kentucky southeastern missouri southern illinois could get quite a bit of moisture over the next five to eight days when we take a look at our temperature forecast, we can see here uh, definitely going to be the bigger deal out of this is going to be the cold air coming out of Canada, right? That's where it's at right now. Temperatures minus 5 to minus 25 degrees below zero further south where it's a lot warmer. You got temperatures in the low to mid 50s go forward in time here by saturday gonna be really warm down here uh -oh, upper 60s low 70s for your saturday so if you want to do anything outdoors looks pretty um tranquil out there southeastern u.s looks pretty tranquil get the plants um taken care of get anything you need to do outside looks pretty good but up here to the north gonna be too cold to do anything outdoors single digits to negative territory temperature and that cold air is really going to slosh uh, further south here by Monday morning. Look at these temperatures. going to be very cold out there. Um, zero to negative 15 degrees across Montana, Wyoming, South Dakota, North Dakota, Minnesota, Wisconsin, Iowa, Nebraska, even into Kansas and Colorado, Nevada. Going to feel... <laughs> So very cold air here back west and that's because of that polar vortex going to make its way further southward with warmer conditions for the southeast and that's going to continue in fact some areas here in florida might even reach the upper 80s to low 90s this continues all the way into perhaps the middle to the end of next week not as cold as what we were thinking but still pretty chilly here all the way through the end of the work week uh through february the third and the fourth with temperatures minus five to minus 10 degrees perhaps with temperatures pretty chilly too in the midwest and the deep south with temperatures anywhere between 30 uh 20 to 30 degrees for your morning hours warms up a little nicely into the upper 30s to lower 40s with 20s in single digits in the great lakes and the northeast and that could continue over the next 10 days now if you want to get latest updates on the weather near you please consider subscribing hitting the bell notification icon liking the video and sharing this video with their family and friends on social media it really helps out a lot i'm trying to make these videos a little bit more simpler and shorter so you guys 
can prepare for what's to come near you and you can uh, plan your day out really nicely. Also check out the Mesovort WX uh, website. There's a link in the description below this video leading to that as well. But anyways, that's going to sum it up for today's video. Thank you all for watching.